As the Western Conference playoff race tightens, RSL's quest for road success continues tonight in Portland against a Timber side that's only lost once at home and allowed just eight goals. It's RSL and Portland, and it comes your way next. They, even a little warm for Portland. Here's a Zango starting lineup tonight for Jason Kreis's side, and it looks that way. No Sabaria tonight, so it'll be Finley and Plot up top. Ricketts in goal. Andrew Jean-Baptiste alongside Ka in the back. Diego Chara and Ben Zemanski will play alongside of each other with the Diego Valeri. Ready to get it going tonight here at Gelb Winfield, a midweek matchup in Major League Soccer with standings on the line here tonight. Portland trailing RSL by three coming in here tonight. Win forward getting in the attack. And we all know Kari's got not only a great shot, but he's also got a strong, strong tackle. Chara, service in. Borchers can't clear. There's a shot off the post. Oh, but Larry missed it. It was set up on a tee, and the Argentines shot it wide. Here's another shot. Big save at Tonello. Johnson denied. And the flag was up on the far side. It wouldn't have counted, but boy, Jeff Attanella with a great reaction save. Well, it's simple possession up the right-hand side. Good combination play leads to the opportunity of the overlapping run from Alvis Powell. Just his third start, and this is the turf, the surface. Nat Borges can't get his feet right. Diego Valeri pops up, dangerous spot. He ends up clipping it off the left post, and then Ryan Johnson comes from an offside position back inside. Assistant referee on the far side correctly raises his flag early. A clean line to come off. That was just a very, very physical body off. Valeri into the box, ball headed and in. It's a goal for Portland. Rodney Wallace, 24th minute. Not much Attenella could do with that one. Wallace had a free run, one nothing Timbers. And you talked about Diego Valeri coming in, six assists on the last six goals for the Portland Timbers. And it's just Rodney Wallace getting goal side. It starts at the top of the 18 yard box, high hard line. And Wallace gets in behind, slight little redirection, just enough to beat the goalkeeper, Jeff Attenella. Morales in. Sent out at the spot that time. Toward the corner, there's Valeri. Morales controls, chips it in. Borchers high, header, save, and a goal for Borchers! Nat slots it away on the rebound, and we're level in the 38th minute. First of the year for Nat Borchers, 11th of his career. Where there will be some controversy coming off this side for the Portland Timbers. And it was that man, Javier Morales, doing an incredible job in the corner against Diego Valeri. He chases this ball down, doesn't allow a little bicycle clearance from Valeri. Early bump, fights through it, gets his head up, clipped in ball. And then it's Jordani Alvarez, snap header. Nat Borchers, right place, right time, simple tap in. Good hard work from Real Salt Lake on the buildup. This goal does not happen if it's not for Javier Morales fighting through. And right there, good snap down header from Jordani Alvarez. Big save from Donovan Ricketts and Nat Borchers, right place, right time. To, to let Baptiste think that there, there's gonna be contact. Plata. Ooh, Stevenson off the chest of Ricketts. There's Morales taken down, and that's gonna be a PK. Yep. Taken down in the box, and, it's Andrew and a penalty is coming. Yep, Andrew Jean-Baptiste. It's Javier Morales, watch him. There's the tug, pulls him across, as the arm goes across the neck, across the body. Morales. 2-1 RSL. Number six on the season for Javier. Second career goal against the Timbers. And just like that, it's gotten a touch quieter here at Jeldwin Field. Well, for the Portland Timbers, another goal conceded that comes with a little bit of controversy. A lot of people will think this is a soft penalty that was called against Andrew Jean-Baptiste. Again, it starts with a long-range rocket from Kari Stevenson. But watch the left arm as it comes across. Andrew Jean-Baptiste tugs. Listen, I'm a former center back. Uh, anytime you put your hands on a player in a box, you're going to run the risk of a referee pointing the spot. This time it goes in favor of Real Salt Lake. 
Slight little fake, a little shimmy, and a well-taken penalty from Javi. Hey. The Argentine with one assist already tonight. Into the mixer. Back post, header, saved by Atanella. Johnson was on the doorstep, and Atanella stoned him right there. Goal kick coming, RSL. Well, again, Jeff Atanella doing a very good job staying big at the far post. Ryan Johnson completely unmarked. Atanella comes off his line, flares out, star jump, stays as big as possible. Another great, great job by the young RSL goalkeeper. Point had a double-digit point lead in the Western Conference. They are now winless in 11 straight matches coming in tonight, Donnie. Wallace, Wallace, and a PK coming. There was a handball. Valeri approaches and puts it away. We're level at two here in the 57th minute. Well-taken goal from Diego Valeri. That's now five goals, 11 assists on the season for the Argentine. Take another look at the build-up. Just watch the left arm of Brandon McDonald right there. As that elbow comes up, the ball, no doubt about it, comes off the left arm as it's extended in the air. Give credit to Wadney Wallace trying to come back across. If he doesn't put that ball up and look to come back over, Referee never has an opportunity to point to the spot. Diego Valeri kind of goes just down the middle to the left-hand side. Morales back to the halfway line to Winger. Another subway sub coming. Probably the next dead ball here for RSL. And there's a straight red. It will be a man down here for the final 10 minutes and change. His touch gets away from him and he keeps his challenge up, catches Diego Chara on the inside of the cap. There you notice the emphasis, get everyone up at least to the 18-yard box immediately. Zemanski now, Al-Hassan to Powell, bends one in. Al-Hassan a shot and a goal. Far post, 3-2 Portland, 86th minute. for the Timbers, has them up late, 3-2. And Khalif al comes in and makes an immediate impact on this right-hand side of midfield. And he'll be completely unmarked. Right there, keep an eye on the number 11. Fortress goes down, he gets that initial touch from Valencia. It's just well taken from al punishing Real Salt Lake for allowing him to be in the box, unmarked. Fortress gets that initial touch, Valencia comes down over him. That's a well-taken goal from Alisson. Even finding himself unmarked in the 18-yard box, that's one thing. But to be able to find that side post, side net so quickly, he gets all of it. Atanella gets a touch to it. Unfortunately for Atanella, he just can't push it around the outside of the post. Bobby in. Sent back out by Ka, wide, tracked by Beltran. Tony cuts it back, Luis Gill, across the six, grab a boy, a shot, and a goal! It's a goal for Ned! We're level at three! Make it Grossman! It's Cole Grossman, his first Major League Soccer goal! And we're level at three! And we talked about plenty of time on the board for Real Salt Lake to get that goal-scoring opportunity. And give credit to Luis Gill, because this is a broken down play defensively. You can see the frustration on the face of Caleb Porter. Tony Beltran tries to get to the line, squirts a ball in, but watch Luis Gill. Pings the ball in as hard as he can. Initial clearance by Jean-Baptiste is just to get a foot to it. Cole Grossman recognizes right time, right place, just to get that early strike back on frame. Look at Grossman, watch the way he spins. As Cobb pulls away, the ball goes right back to Grossman. He just gets a soft left foot, redirects it. Defensively as a group, as a unit, is doing a very, very good job to kill off this match. And that's that. 90 minutes of soccer have been played. 
And RSL on the strength of the first Major League Soccer goal.